What's up guys, it's Steve Kane here from 78. We're on the ground in Western Australia, right now, the beautiful city of Perth. We've come over to produce a little bit of content, and while we're here, we thought we'd go on a little bit of a road trip. We're starting here in Perth, and we're gonna make our way down south. Along the way, we're gonna catch up with a few different people, see what they've got to say, and check out some of the beautiful locations that Western Australia has on offer. This morning, we're meeting Paul Jones from F4L Triathlon Coaching. He's been in the game for more than 15 years, coaches a lot around Western Australia, particularly here in the Perth region. He's also an Ironman U certified coach. We're catching up with him very shortly to hear what he's got to say about triathlon here in Western Australia. So Paul, firstly, I guess, just tell me a little bit about yourself. You know, you, you've originally from the UK, you've come over to Western Australia. Tell me a little bit about how long you've been here, what was the draw card, and a little bit about your triathlon. Uh, we came from the northeast of England. Yeah. Whilst the area is stunning, we decided we wanted to change. Came up with the decision that if we were gonna move, let's move. So we, we moved to the other side of the world. But in terms of triathlon, um, I've been involved in triathlon for as a coach and as an athlete for over 15 years now. I've coached athletes fortunately for all over the world. Um, I've had athletes going to Ironman 70.3 Worlds, Ironman Hawaii, countless Ironman personal bests, but also athletes just looking to complete an Ironman for the first time, get inside the time limit, that idea yeah, yeah. as well. And then as an athlete, I have done Ironman, did Ironman Austria in, in 2013, and having come to Western Australia, you can see some of that European sort of influence coming over to West Australia now and you can see that Western Australia as an event is growing. The swim near the jetty, beautiful water down there is crystal clear. The bike course is awesome and fast, steady flat. Get used to being on your tri bars because that's where you're going to spend the whole day. The, the run course with all the crowds and the, the people through the city of Bustleton is, is pretty incredible. Western Australia, it seems like it's a little bit of a mecca for triathlon. There is so many triathletes over here. You know, like, what, what is it for triathletes in WA? I guess it's the weather, but also We've got so many decent places to train um, and so many decent places, so many different races to, to do. The open water swimming is amazing. Yeah. Um, the cycling is, is world class, to be honest, in terms of a venue. You've got the opportunity to ride in the hills if you want to, the, the city. And as a city to ride around, it's actually really easy, but it's also pretty, pretty impressive to look at. The opportunity to do multi-sport in WA is, is massive yeah. and it's, 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 it's pretty special. You know, you talk about riding around the city and running around the city and the sights that you can see. You know, we've checked out a few things over the, the short time we've been here already and you know, things like the architecture, the, the new areas that have been developed. You know, you've got Kings Park. You know, tell us about a, a little bit about the city and the, the style of buildings that we see and the areas that we'd, you'd recommend people should check out while they're here. Kings Park has got some stunning um, flora and fauna out there. Um, the trees and, and everything in the park is quite stunning. There's loads of places to walk around. You've got to do the treetop walk across the bridge. And the view over the Swan River from the top and over the city is pretty spectacular. So yeah, so it's, it's definitely well worth a look and it, it's pretty stunning up there. Going away from the, the city and talking a bit more about you. So you're an Ironman U certified coach. You know, you, you've been coaching triathlon for a long time and you've recently become Ironman U certified. What, what made you want to become Ironman U certified? And tell us a bit about it. I came from Britain, I'd, I'd already done my British Triathlon um, Level 3 certification. I wanted to keep my education up to speed, so I decided, right, I'm going to do an I'm, the Ironman U certification, predominantly just to, to get my brain into up to speed, and so it's in case I knew anything, didn't pick up on anything I haven't done before, and uh, just to always keep learning. You can't stand still as a coach, there's, there's always something new, there's always something changing. Yeah, as a coach, I'm always looking to evolve and always looking to, to offer more for my athletes. Well, Paul, thank you very much, mate. Thank you for your time. It's been great to chat to you. No it's been a pleasure meeting you. Yeah. Thank you very much.